Shalom, giving all praise, glory, and honor to the Heavenly Father in the name of His only begotten Son and in the name of the Holy Spirit. Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rakha Hakodash, Barakatha Yahweh, Barakatha Yahweh Shai, Barakatha Yahweh, Barakatha Yahweh Shai, Barakatha Yahweh, Barakatha Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rakha Hakodash. Double honors unto the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. And peace, blessings, and salutations to the hopeful elect members of the nation of Israel. Those of you who are of Negroid and Native Indian descent, of North, Central, and South America, the Caribbean Islands, Alaska, and Canada. Also spread throughout the four corners of the earth due to the scattering done to our nation by the Heavenly Father himself. Unto the elect of you, I say Shalom. Uh, real brief, I'd like to highlight on this uh, article I have pulled up on the screen here. Um, and as you can see, it's dealing with uh, microchip implants. Now, I aim to shed light on any article that is dealing with an implantable microchip. Because as we move into the year 2020, this uh, new decade, uh, the word of the Heavenly Father is going to be on the back burner. Because we are uh, uh, bringing out what these microchips are all about. OK, uh, we're bringing out the truth of these microchips and what they're going to be used for in the near future. All right. So I would like to tell those of you who may be listening. That the RFID NFC implantable microchip is the mark of the beast. OK. Now. It's going to be used for a number of things. It's going to be used for buying and selling. It's going to be used for uh, uh, security, data storage. It's going to be used for uh, health care purposes as well. Uh, as detailed in this article. So without any more delay, let's get into it. It says, Bionic American Engineer. 31 got microchip implants at the near death experience. Okay? And this article comes from infosurhoy.com. It says an American engineer who was involved in the near death car crash that shattered her back, ankles, and knees has told of how she had various implants and enhancements to upgrade her body. Self-professed transhumanist Winter Moraz, 31, who currently lives in Liverpool, said the implants under her skin help, help her carry out day-to-day -day activities. She has two microchips to open doors and send information, as well as LED lights in her arm and magnets in her fingers. Miss Moraz said the process of transforming into a bionic woman began when she was forced to have medical implants following her accident. One of my kneecaps is medically 3D printed. That's an implant, she told Good Morning Britain on Friday. I have the contraceptive implant, which nobody blinks an eye at. These operations help to break down a mental wall with Miss Moraz going on to augment herself further. She got a small microchip in her left hand that opens her front door in the same way as card machines detect card chips or an office automated uh, offices or an office's automated door recognizes employees. Another chip, another microchip, this one in her right hand contains her business card information. A quick scan with a smartphone provides her details to anyone looking to network. The rest of her bodily changes have not been so practical, including magnets in her fingertips and LED lights embedded in her forearm. It says here, my implants are proactive versus reactive, she told GMB, which is a good morning Britain. Instead of waiting until something negative happens to me and then fixing it medically, I can now get rid of some of the worries I might have. Like, have I forgot my keys? I can't forget my keys. They're in my hand. 
And see, these microchips are being used as a way of convenience for these people. And uh, there was another article that I seen, and uh, uh, this woman is a is an Edomite woman. Because the Edomites are going to be at the forefront uh, of this technology, okay? It says the LED, the LED spark into life and glow when a magnet is passed over them. Miss Mraz told the BBC in October that she is a magpie and is inherently attracted to sparkly things. Well, that's pretty much the article, but uh, I just want to bring out, man, there's more and more uh, information being uh, pushed out on the uh, on the internet uh, dealing with these microchips, man, because as the year 2020 approaches, I'm telling you, there's going to be more talk of artificial intelligence and uh, implantable devices, uh, uh, mainly RFID NFC microchips okay now this is a way to uh, get people used to the fact of uh, of uh, 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 having things implanted in their bodies okay by, by the way of this transhumanism uh, movement okay they already got people conditioned with uh, external devices such as uh, Smart watches like uh, eye watches and um, uh, Fitbits. Okay, they got people uh, used to uh, injecting things in themselves uh, uh, medically. When it comes to the uh, 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 monitoring of your heart, such as pacemakers and things such as uh, cochlear implants. Okay, for those who have uh, hearing impairments. All right, so when the time presents itself. Uh, it's going to be no problem for these people to take the chip, okay, as a new way of living. Because you already uh, have contactless payments. You, you, you make payments with your cell phones, okay. You already have a chip in your debit and credit cards. So when it comes time for them to have uh, everything on a microchip for the use of your everyday living to go inside your body, it's going to be no problem for you people. But I'm telling you, this is the prophecy of the mark of the beast speaking. And um, I'm going to prove that in the scriptures right now. Bear with me. <clears throat> this is the book of Revelation, 13th chapter. I'm going to read verses 16 through 18. And it reads, And he causeth all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads. And that no man might buy or sell, save he that had the mark, or the name of the beast, or the number of his name. Here is wisdom. Let him that hath understanding count the number of the beast, for it is the number of a man. And his number is six hundred three score and six. Okay. Now, the word mark in the sixteenth verse goes back to the Greek word karagma, which means a mark cut in. And when you go into the uh, number six hundred three score and six 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 six, the number six uh, is the Greek word stigma. And I'm going to show you. What that represents. I'm going to another uh, scripture to get that word isolated. So, one moment. Hold on, let me see where it was. Six and seventeen.
Strong G 4742. Stigma. 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 Root word etymology from primary stizo to stick, i.e. prick. Okay. Right here in the outline of biblical usage, it says a mark pricked in or branded upon the body. To ancient oriental usage, slaves and soldiers bore the, bore the name or the stamp of their master or commander, branded or pricked, cut into their bodies to indicate what master or general they belong to. Okay? And that's the point. So when the Edomites roll out this uh, uh, technology... It is to brand you for servitude. Okay? The mark of the beast is here. And soon it will be made mandatory. To the elect of uh, Israel. Repentance. And diligence to the Heavenly Father. And His only begotten Son. Is your primary duty. Until uh, Yahweh Shai comes. And gather the elect from the four corners of the earth. Stay on guard. Keep a watchful eye. Shalom.